Hello there, Vic Benedict here. We're playing Spec Ops The Line on the PC on FUBAR difficulty, and this is my guide and walkthrough. We are currently on Chapter 2 of 15. It is entitled The Dune. So, uh, this first part over here promotes stealth, but by the time your teammates have killed those two enemies, you've got a runner coming up over here, and the, the jig is pretty much up. So, um, there never is really a jig going on in this game because it's not a stealth game so there are only small brief moments oh did you see that what i did i promised you guys that i would tell you look at this look at, look at this shit watch this got some good shit yeah there we go <laughs> you son of a gun man um okay so how do you how do you uh vault over cover while running okay so how do you run in the first place just uh, briefly press the A button and release and then as you're approaching pieces of cover that you want to vault over all you do is hold B so that you um, uh, vault while uh, running it's something that uh, Gears of War uh, Queers 4 uh, has in it I don't know if, if you would call it li that they lifted it from this game but um this is a brief chapter, as will the next chapter be, and um, I also wanted to mention that uh, the 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 scheme for your weapons it has the Gears of War judgment um, set up so that you you just alternate between two weapons by pressing the Y button, and all of these things are things that you already know having gone through the game once to unlock this difficulty. So that is the presumption that I'm going to make that uh, you guys have already gone through. Um, the less harder difficulty and you're just needing some tips and strategies on how to defeat uh, uh, FUBAR which stands for fucked up beyond all repair now uh, this chapter over here is a um, uh, an easy one but the, the start of the next chapter is quite hard and it's hard because of, uh, of a lot of excessive grenade tossing and poor cover so uh, I will I just want to warn you be, because if you don't have good tools to begin the next chapter I mean you can do them without what I'm going to recommend but I'm just I'm, I'm just cautioning you right now you want to enter the next level with the scar dash H assault rifle which we're gonna pick up in a moment over here and you also want to have some grenades because um, that will be a great setup for you. The Scar Dash H is uh, in the assault rifle category, and it ha it has an alternate. Uh, all of the well, I can't say all, but um, most of the guns that you'll pick up in this game, they have an alternate firing capability by pressing up. For instance, I think that I already mentioned the AK-47 has auto and burst fire. Yeah, I must have done that in the last chapter. Um, so with the Scar Dash H, it has a grenade launcher, so it's going to be incredibly effective in uh, hopefully killing uh, some enemies in clusters, if we can. There's also, uh, at certain points in the game, there, there are um, inter interactive parts of the environment that you can use to kill enemies, like the, uh, the, near the nearly shattered glass that we're going to use to destroy some enemies once we get down. You, you notice that it says, well, close to the turret, press A to flip it. Well, we're going to do that eventually. And you might wonder, well, why haven't you uh, shot out the glass? Because the uh, the the sand that you're going to bury these enemies under, it's I think it's best done once you reach the turret. Because if you do it before then... It really doesn't uh, have any effect because the enemies aren't really in front of that area. But um, this is um, this is a pr pretty much a cleared area. Um, so there will be some times when I pick up the shotgun, guys. I just I, I don't care for it currently. Um, it's not going to serve us at this point in time. Um, so anyway, what I would do is I would keep the M4A1. And we're also going to pick up the Scar Dash H. So it's right over here. This is not something that any enemy dropped. They just place it for you over here. So there's no way that you won't be able to get it. So just you can get it. And if you press up, you can use the grenade launcher feature. Um, and if you would like to use one grenade over here, 
you can get that grenade back by the ammo refill over here. And you can also use, uh, you could switch to the AK-47 over here as a throwaway weapon. Um, but there is going to have to be a point where you come over here because um, the point where we were at a moment ago where the refill box was, uh, that's going to get uh, shattered and you're going to be in uh, a large amount of distress and you're probably going to get killed. So um, the game does tell you to... Um, that it's well it doesn't tell you it just it says that it's not necessary to continue holding the a button while you're running um but the only way that you can um snap into cover is if you're holding the a button he he will um it depends on what type of cover it is you saw him kind of like do a slide into this piece of cover well if you're if you've held the a button and then released it and then uh, what the character does, he won't slide into cover unless you're holding the button. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a nice thing that you don't have to hold the button, but s snapping into cover, it does require you to be holding the A button. Just wanted to let you know about that. And then over here, um, you've got um, a situation that looks like it's um, unmanageable, but um, enemies are going to be coming up to you pretty closely and you can just blind fire kill them mostly and there's also another AK-47 over here that you can use for a throwaway weapon. Uh, the only admonishment I will say to you is that um, before the chapter's over make sure that you've uh, switched back from the AK-47 uh, to the SCAR if you've replaced um, those two. If you want to keep the AK-47 go for it um, but by the time the storm comes over here you don't have to do anything except just hold out and and wait you do need to do a little bit of shooting at the end but that's it um in these sandstorms here the problem is uh, and you're going to see it evidence in the, in the end of the next video is that you can't do commands because your teammates can't hear you because of all of the excessive noise but um that is a clear chapter guys it was chapter two i will see you in chapter three i don't i honestly um i've never got killed on that hanging section right there but i think you might be able to so just just shoot those guys to make sure that you don't get killed because we're trying at all costs to not get you guys killed even though you're, you're gonna get killed a thousand fucking times anyway but you know just try to keep your cool is all i'm saying and um continue to do that as we transition into the third chapter from the second for Bic Benedict Productions my name is Bic please take care